All right, back again. <clears throat> so we're in, uh, back in Beiruna's uh, well. And uh, I guess we could uh, go ahead and take care of this trial thing real quick while we're here. I sold all my stuff from uh, our cold wood adventure. So uh, now I think I wanna finish this uh, trial of this, uh, the supposed murder between the Uthgard member and one of the Lord's Alliance's soldier. I think the Uthgard tribe member is innocent of the crime. So, um, Start talking. See, we have the drinking house here. And I also have the snow globe. So, um, I'll have to return that to Lillian over there. But first, let's take care of this. I greet you. Alright, so I'm here to talk about Rolgan's trial. Huh, what are your feelings about this case? Oh, okay, so... Sounds like you figure he's already guilty. Wow, this guy is pretty disgusting. He wants to sleep with the Rolgan, oh, well, Rolgan's wife. Um, so is there any way I can guarantee you will find Rolgan not guilty? All right, here's 300 gold. Okay. So I got one vote. I bribed him, that was easy. Alright, nice to talk to Lodar. Well met. I know about the trial. I'm defending Rolgan. Alright. Tell me what you what you know. Okay. Griff and the uh, Uthgart were playing cards, gambling. Griff won a lot of money. Okay. Okay, so you went out after you heard the fighting and then you saw the Uthgard member stab Griff. Okay. You know what? Don't get so worked up about the trial. Here, barkeep, a drink for my friend Lodar. Please, I'm buying. He's like, hey, you're all right. Th no problem. Well met. How about a refill? Oh, so Griff was a racist, and he was always going on about the Uthgart being drunks and thieves. Well, maybe Griff's to blame for the fight. You know, if you know Griff is that kind of person, don't you think it's plausible that uh, he started it? Secrets? Come on, tell me, what kind of secrets? Hey, we're friends here, aren't we? Have another drink. <laughs> All right. 
nasty habit of spiking drinks of people he gambled against. Oh, well, that made sense because my client said his his uh, mind was clouded, and that's why he gambled away all the priceless artifacts. Anything else you can tell me? Well met. Well met. But you never saw who started the fight. Anything else? Well met. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, I think we're good. I bought him like several, several drinks. <laughs> so we should be good and friendly. All right, so I think that's it for this place. Next, we want to go to, where's our map? Yeah, we wanna go here. Nurik sent me, I'm representing Rolgan. I'm preparing my case. What do you think about the trial? Huh, sounds like you're trying to keep an open mind. Talk to Zed. I greet you. So what happened to your leg? I greet you. And I'm in defense of uh I'm the defense counsel for Rolgan. So I need to talk to you. None can stand before me! I get the f wait, um, anything else you can tell me? What's wrong with your leg? Huh. I don't know. Let's try healing him. I greet you. Oh, okay, that worked. Thanks for curing the wound. Wish they prompted a little better. Okay, so we already talked to them. Well met. Okay. Was there someone else? Oh, hey, I have a boss head, so. Yep, you won't be cutting off any more supplies. 
500 gold. I thank you. But it was very troublesome. So you think I think I can get a little more? Ah. Okay. I'll be going now. Okay. Uh Trial notebook. Okay. Okay, so we have Rolgan, yeah, Zed, Lodar, Banda, wife of the Qs. Okay. I gotta talk to her. Drinking house, Abrick. In the barracks. Jevron. Dulles. Okay. Hala. Wise one of the. Okay. None can stand before me! You're dead ah. twice over! Okay, sorry I got him. Zed. Okay. All right, so we need to go to the... Get out of here. He goes to the druid coat, or grove. I think it's her. Yep. So, let me talk to you about the trial. Yes. Sounds like you think Rolgan is innocent. Yeah, I understand. Is there any way... Oh, okay. Well... Okay. Okay, so she's already on board. Then I'll talk to the wife, Arvada Vander. Yes, but... I'm representing your husband. Hey, friend, I must ask you some questions. Tell me what happened that night Griff was killed. As if it was more than alcohol. Yes. I heard that this Griff fella likes to spike drinks. Gambling and alcohol are dangerous. Please go on. Right, it's more religious importance than the actual gold, which you guys would have given so much more of. Yeah, I know. This Griff fella seems really nasty. All right, anything else?
Don't worry, ma'am. I think I got this. Hala? Nurik sent me. I'm representing Rolgan. What do you think of this case? Sounds like you already think he's guilty. Can I ask some questions? Okay. I think that's everything. Or is it? I just want to try something. Normally, I wouldn't try to bribe, but okay. There's no consequences. Yes, but okay. Let's do it. Do the trial. I think I'm ready. Talk to everyone. All right, let's begin the trial. I'm ready to begin the trial. Sounds simple. Sword for guilty, torch for innocent. I understand. My name is Eglund of the Swift Sword. I am the special prosecutor in the investigation of the death of the Lord's Alliance mercenary known as Griff. And I would like to remind the jury that I have never lost a case. Never! Hmm. We'll see about that. I think this case will be easy enough for me to prove the innocence of my client. Okay. All right. So, Lodar, was the Uthgar in his right mind, or did he seem intoxicated to you? Wait, actually, sorry. Isn't it true that Griff spiked Rolgan's drink earlier that evening? Oh, so Griff is partly to blame for his own death then. You rightfully admit that he spiked the Uthgard's drink.
Um, did you actually see who started the fight? Ah, you didn't. So maybe Griff started the fight and Rolgan was just defending himself. Was Uthgart in his right mind, or did he seem intoxicated to you? So drunk that he didn't know what he was doing? Alright, I have no more questions. For this witness. Alright, well... Yeah. I'm going to try to avoid um, <clears throat> blaming any racial animosity just because some of the jurors will definitely not buy that and blah, 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 even though we all know Griff was a douche. Okay, so Zed's up next. You never actually witnessed the start of the fight, did you? Don't you think Rolgan's judgment was impaired by all the alcohol he had consumed? Oh wait, or did you did you know that Griff had spiked Rolgan's drink that night? Oh, he did put something in Rolgan's drink, made his mind fuzzy. Okay, don't you think that might be mitigating circumstance and what happened? Yeah, well, Griff sounds like a really terrible person that goes around spiking people's drinks and then, you know, getting them into gambling and taking their money. Don't you think it was, his judgment was impaired by the alcohol and this concoction that was put into his drink? I have no further questions for this witness. It's clear to see that Griff was not on the level. Wow, this guy, this other lawyer is terrible. Alright, tell me why you sent your husband to see Griff. Alright, tell me about the significance of the heirlooms. Great religious significance to the Black Lion tribe, of course. The value is greater than mere money. Do you think your husband's on trial here, uh... Yeah, I'm going to leave that alone. I have no more questions. I'll question Rolgan. All right, tell us what happened that night. Was your, what was your state of my, mind that night, Rolgan? Were you thinking clearly? It's hazy from fog and many cups. Do you think the only reason... Uh, okay. I have no more questions.
Well, the prosecution's witnesses never saw who started the fight, so we must accept Rogan's claim of self-defense as truth. And we have, you know, witness testimony that Griff has a history of spiking people's drinks. Griff spiked Rogan's drink. And the heirlooms of Griff are are worth. <laughs> sorry, the val the heirlooms Griff had taken were valuable religious artifacts. He was drunk. Rogan is clearly not responsible for his actions, as well as the spiking that was done by Griff. The defense rests its case. Oh, wow. It's a split decision. So, he and her. You bastards. But yes, yes, and yes. Look at that. It's you two. I'm gonna kill you two later. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would totally do that because I'm neutral evil. Alright, anyway. Uh, verdict's clear. Okay. Yeah, well, you lost this one, buddy. Damn. All right. Hail to ye! Thank you. So I got 468 experience points and a thousand gold. Uh, I think the reward seems a little light. All right, I'll accept that extra hundred. Tell me what you. Actually, tell you what. Oh wow, <laughs> you can threaten to hack his fingers off. I like that. Okay, I'll be going now. All right, um, yeah, let's go to the trading house. Or trading post. Turn in that star sapphire. So why'd you leave your home in the south? What can you tell me about Husher? Okay. Okay, uh, let's go to the inn.
Uh, Alright, I guess we can check with these guys. Now that Rolgan's back. It's good to taste your open air once more. Feel me sweet upon my tongue. I say good guy, with the verdict that cleansed the word murderer from my name. And I thank you. You are a true friend of the Uthgard people. The Red Tiger Triumph speaks your name with reverence. Thank you. Yes, what? All right. Greetings. Okay, I think that's it. Temple of Tear. I got the snow globe right here. So, about that reward. Snow globe's pretty valuable. All right, deal. Wait, it's gone, where'd it go? Okay. Wait, the snow globe itself? How is a word stuck in the snow globe? A miniature world. How is that possible? So how do I get the word out? Okay, well how do I get in? Touch the globe and you will yourself in? Wow. Alright. So you're just gonna stand over here and get drunk while the words of power are in there. Which is the thing that you're looking for. Well, I guess I'll go retrieve it. So yeah. I remember this part. I think we get to fight our first dragon. Level 13, Solo. Oh, 
Howard Bull Street. Okay. Let's do this. Enter the globe. Okay, so this is... This guy's tough. Okay, enough of this. Only got three? Three experience for all that. Hod and another hod. who attack us on sight. I see. So why are the doors at war? Have you always been at war with the doors? Slaves to a terrible master, monstra, monstra, <laughs> a monstrous creature of pure evil. Okay. All right. I want to ask you some questions. 
Wait, you guys are immortal? Slay and then reborn, slay and reborn. I just saw that. Huh. Sounds pretty bad. Why are the... Oh, okay. What is this place? Oh, so you don't even know you're in a snow globe. Okay. Oh, we'll go now. I know we'll have to rotate that globe. But I'm just stand your ground over there. There's something over here? No, I don't think so. Okay. Does this go anywhere? No. There's a spawning point. Okay. There's no way to... Oh, there is a way to get in here. I see. All right. I guess we can go in there and save, just in case. I see a great worm. Do you wish to speak? You are not my slaves. It is strange for me to see one who does not cower and flee in terror at my presence. I find your courage in dreams. Thank you. Visitors are a great curiosity in my life. So I will. I am Nor Nebzin. I come searching for the words of power. Yes, tell me of uh, the word of power. Ancient magic fashioned by the creator race, ruled in the north before the time of manlings. Okay, so you harnessed its magic to make yourself immortal as well as your slaves. Alright, um... Where's the word now? Alright. Is there nothing I can offer in exchange for the word? You're right. I'd like to ask you something else. So, uh, who are you, exactly? 
Oh my god, I can't pronounce your name. Mafel no Sikazdenar. Something. <laughs> in the old language. Notice winter fang in the tongues of manly. You are now the builder, the creator, the master. How did you end up in this snow globe? How does this world exist inside a globe? Okay. So can you tell me about the dwarves and diet or dryads? Why are they always fighting each other? Oh, because they were plotting against you, so you made them fight each other. Alright. Makes sense. Alright. Um, I should go now. I'm gonna go speak to these dwarves. Broken Amulet of the Ages. Okay. Let's see if we can do something with this. What do you make of this omnia? Tree and forge united to overthrow the master. Can you do anything, can you do anything to fix it? Okay. I'll go. And this is where we need to flip the globe and go over to the dwarves side. Shut up. it over. Small group of doors being slayed or slain by dryads. Yeah, that's where I want. Stand your ground over there. Pray, whatever gods you worship. 
Hard. What do you make of this amulet? Can you fix it? Okay, so now we go back to the other side. Because they repaired the uh, omelette. Omulet. 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 Alright, rotate the globe again. Enter. All right, now we speak with the dryads again. I think I want to take this guy without the, without the the magical piece. I think it like weakens him. I want to see if I can take him. So, I return with this. Can you imbue it with magic again? Are you okay? Is something wrong? Tell me more about this vision of a terrible, cruel master. Yeah, I think you guys all had your memory stripped. Except I think they're all still nutsos over here. Yeah. Cold resists and saving throws. Meh. Alright, let's camp out here. Rest up. Get ready for a battle of the century. Actually, it should be pretty easy, I think. This is the white dragon, come on. I mean, Drit killed one of those. And I think he was Paragon, maybe? Level at that time? Don't quote me on that. Ooh. 
they have any special power? No? Okay. Let me save. Oh, you already know. Wait, I was about to say, what's going on here? Nice! Took him the flip out. Yep. Oh, uh, he resisted one of the spells. And then, uh, let's see here. Lesser Spell Bre Breach. Yep. Nailed him with it. So he casted a stone skin. I was like, nope, we ain't doing that. Took, stripped that right off him. All right, my first dead dragon. So low. Didn't even use the amulet. Um, Om amulet. It's <laughs> cheesy. Why do I have a problem saying that word? Yes, yes, yes. Alright, let's go grab this word of power. Their time has come. Destroy them all! He wouldn't trap his own chest, would he? Wow, look at this. That is a nice little dragon horde. And the word of power. Who are you? Fine. I serve the Lord's Alliance at this moment, if you must know. Yeah, I serve Mogram, sure. Um, do you have a message for him? Your lies are known to me. I sense that you seek Mogram's defeat. This is good. Why? Your enemies are mine as well. Mogram must be stopped. He must not get the words of power. Oh, I see. All right. All right, I've answered your questions. Now tell me, who are you? My name is Hedralin, leader of the world slaves. <laughs> this is but a projection of my truth. I am yet too far to aid you in this dance. There is more I would tell you. My spell is fading. 
find the words before Morton. Or the world you know will not survive. Very well. Well, that was interesting. Um, I think that's it. So they're just stuck in there now. Living in harmony. In peace. Sounds terrible. I mean, that place wasn't that big. I know, it's supposed to represent like a, you know, it's not supposed to be to scale, you know, visually. All right, Lillian, I found uh, this word of power. One of them heroes get hired to find them words of power, right? Okay, I think that's th we're done here. So um, I think we'll cut it here, and then next time uh, we'll finish up some side quests around here and. Probably start getting with the henchmen and completing their stuff. We still have like a lot of areas to cover, so. Alright, as we search for the words of power. See you next time. Later.